Here's a tip from the first one that I've done. I didn't follow the directions and soak these in hot water, and it was hell getting them on. So we're going to follow the directions and soak these in hot water. While we have the trim soaking in hot water, um, we're going to go ahead and install this latch on the bottom section. Go ahead and get that out of the way while, I, uh, while the trim soaking for the sake of time. I have the tools. I'm a tool handler. got the bottom part installed, as you can see, we'll get a close-up over here in just a second. We're going to start on the top section. First, we're going to remove the uh, protective backing and all that, and then we're going to put, put this latch on. And then we'll loosen these clamps and then I'll set it point.
bike is uh, brand new, a week old. You may have five miles on it. But give that a few weeks and we'll change that. On these gas struts, you want to put it in the middle hole. That's where it works the best. Now we got the windshield installed. Now we're putting the top trim on now. inches in between the brackets.
split windshield install. Build wind. Full open. A little short breeze. You can see there's a little gap there. Let's a little wind come in, get a little breather. Or full close. From Super ATV split windshield. And it is scratch resistant. I've had both styles and scratch resistant is definitely the way to go. What do you think, Tony? I love it. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> we get a thumbs up from Tony.